there were a group of churches putting together this surgical strike at a very busy shopping center right around Christmas time this year. They had thrown down the gauntlet. We were going to be passing out music CDs of a woman who volunteered and gave of her time, and I, I shared one of her fantastic music videos earlier. Uh, this is uh, her CD, Julie Myers, and I would recommend it highly. It's excellent. Now, we were passing those out for free. We were passing out $10 Jimbo's supermarket uh, cards that they could eat food with, and uh, we were supposed to invite ourselves to have a meal with them, not using their $10, but spending some money there at the mall to share the good news. Now, I got there about a half an hour early, and scoping the place out, seeing what was going on, and I was handed one of these CDs from somebody, but it seemed like they were lacking the boldness to come forward, to share, to, to talk about the majesty and the glory and the power. I mean, we really do have a tremendous amount of good news. If you start to take, if you start to tally up the, all the things that have been done for you in your life, God's amazing. There should ne we should never be short of words to share with other people. At the ready, at the ready. Now, with that said, I was wrestling myself. I was going, well, how am I supposed to carry out this mandate and just approach complete strangers really not feeling it, not feeling comfortable about it. Uh, one of the stores that I walked by was called I want to say this correctly it was like Hoboken Pizza or Flatbush Pizza, something like a New York style pizza or New Jersey pizza gosh darn it, I don't remember the name doesn't matter Something inside me said, get some pizzas for the volunteers, for the people who are going to go out and, and spread the word and do this mission. So I ordered four pies from the owner. He was there flipping and cooking and everything. We got to talk a little bit also, and I said, listen, I don't want any discount. We're here to, to bless all the vendors and all the, the store owners and shops and stuff and uh, put our best foot forward. So I bought four pies and... Uh, Brought them, and I had asked the the owner to cut them up like you would for pizza for a little league softball team, like in little tiny squares. Now I just did that so that the pizzas would spread for more people. God is my witness. But then it dawned on me that this was something that was commem the pizza commemorating this special occasion, a significant occasion, where we were taking back ground of the Lord's there in the center, because that's where the mall is in San Diego, that particular mall, the center of the city. And we were taking it back from the world's common enemy. It became The pizza became the Eucharist for the occasion. It, it transmogrified, if that's the right word, the pronunciation at least. And I was I was passing them out. I began passing not just to the volunteers, but also to the people walking by. And I was saying, Come on and break bread with the Christians. It's Christmas. And it was amazing that some people, without really much more prompting, were eager to do it, jumped right in and understood what the significant was, whether they ascribed to Christianity wholeheartedly, whether they were on the fence, whether they weren't sure, whether they were complete non-believers, they were ready at least to break bread and cross that hurdle. Whereas, surprisingly, some of the very Christians, some of the very volunteers, were hesitant. I approached one of the volunteers, in truth, and went up to them, and said, well, I didn't only say ask this one person, but I asked lots of people, the vendors, etc. I would, I would start out by saying every so often, it's, do you speak, every so often, do you speak to the big guy upstairs? And uh, you should see the look on some of their faces. Some of them understood right away what I was talking about, without me having to bash them over the head with Christianity. It was just a very soft approach, and um, the pizzas went completely 
and I felt it in my heart to go get another two boxes of pizza. So a total of six boxes of pizza went that day, and I went around to the different vendors, and boy, you could really see a lot of them minimum wage workers, really uplifted by the pizza, really uplifted by the message to go out and um, break bread with the Christians, basically. There was nothing more uh, um, pre-planned than that. But I just want to encourage you, this is a... A, a new subheading on spiritual headlines, Opportunity Knocks. When it knocks for you, seize it. Carpe diem. Seize the day and put that on your resume. When you go up and, and speak to St. Paul, who's at the front of the gates, and he's going to say, what do you have to say for yourself? You could say, I gave out pizza wafers, broke bread, <laughs> the body of Christ, at a mall on Christmas 2013.